Hello dear students, today we are going to learn how to construct a square in GeoGebra. So here you can see that it is very easy to draw a square on a grid paper. We know that square is a special parallelogram in which each angle is 90 degrees and all the sides are equal. Right, so let us uh, explore how we can draw a square using GeoGebra. So first thing which we are going to do is, let us take a line segment AB. So here we are going to make a square of side F units, right? So F is 5.08 centimeters right now. So we know that in a square, each angle is 90 degrees. So we can take advantage of this perpendicular line tool and we will be now making a line perpendicular to AB passing through A and then we will be making another line passing through B perpendicular to AB. So this is how we have got two lines which are parallel to each other and they are making 90 degree angles with AB. That means they are perpendicular to AB. But uh, it has not solved the problem. We need to construct a square. Now you see here, we know that if we can get a circle, let me take a circle with center tool and if we get a circle here of radius AB. Now you see that here the circle is intersecting the line which is passing through the point A. Let us uh, get the point of intersection. So here this point C and its distance from A. You can see that AC is also one of the radius of uh, this circle. Right, so AB is equal to AC and AB is perpendicular to AC. So we have got another side of the square. Now similarly, if we use the circle tool and then draw a circle with radius AB, which intersects the line which passes through B and is perpendicular to AB. So this also intersects the circle at some point. So let us see which is this point. So we can find this point here, right? So now we, you can see that we have got two points C and D. And if we join a, B, C, D, then we get a square. So we can remove the extra things like we don't need this circle now. So right click, show object. We don't need this line also. Right click, show object. We don't need this line also. And we can remove this circle also. So now we are left with the required points. So we can use the segment tool and complete the square. And here you will see that the points C and D are marked in black. So they are the static points. And we can uh, move this, change the size of this square by moving points A and B. Let us see how we can do this. Use the move tool. So you can move and wherever you are, you know, moving, you see that you are getting a square. If you wish to see the angle measure of each uh, this uh, square ABCD, then you can use this angle measure tool and you know now that how to use it. So we will be finding the angle measurement of each angle by clicking on the vertices in the clockwise direction. So you need to find out each angle and you see that each angle has measurement of 90 degrees. So this is how we 